Went on the live know that he's about to turn things up a notch what? and he starts turn things up going crazy really finna turn up on bro y'all finna see live bro straight up y'all finna see, see this live nigga, bro, bro. What? i take one for the team yo i swear to god this nigga i swear to god and after they pulled the girl away he pulled out his strap and pops the cops once before they start firing Damn. back yeah, Ricky, come here What's good, YouTube, man? It's your ball of mall, aka Molly Mall, back with another banger reaction video for y'all boys and shit. And as y'all can see about today's title with them, my nigga, we getting into some like most street shit, you know what I'm saying? We be getting real street statistic around this motherfucker, you see what I'm saying? But yeah, man, let me know how the audio is. Last video, I had my video mic up a lot, you know what I'm saying? Type shit. But like, let me know how the audio is, but for real, like, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. But uh, before we get into the video, make sure I subscribe. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We do daily uploads. I wouldn't go upload because my camera was shit fucked up. But I was like, fuck that. I got to get game. Them a video. Me not dropping is like a president not being president. Come on now. Let's stop playing. You know what I'm saying? I already know how we about to get down. But yeah, like I said, man, before we get to the video, make sure you subscribe. or post on the kitchen so you're notified every time I upload. I upload every day, dog. Make sure you like the video. Comment. Without further ado, let's get this key. Most criminals wait until the coast is clear to commit a shooting. Some don't care who's watching. Others Damn. are so bold, they'll even shoot someone for the whole video. world to see. These are the craziest shootings caught on live. Starting with the dude who got into a crazy shootout with cops on Instagram Live. Because a man named oh. LaForest Gray Jr. had the police called on him since his neighbors saw him dragging a woman by her hair Damn. on the street. Police Domestic violence at its best, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Domestic violence, I ain't gonna cap, bro. That shit be real. Like, I'm gonna line this down a little bit. But domestic violence be real, bro. I don't think a lot of people talk about that enough. But domestic violence is a real shit, bro. I got a, I don't know what the fuck you call that stupid shit. I think it was acid reflex or something like that. But domestic violence is a real thing, bro. He's quickly arrived on the scene. And by the time they pulled up, LaForest went live on Instagram to show everyone what was going on. You want you pulled up? Pull up then! Pull up since you pulled up! Yo, he flashed. Had that same energy! Yo, he flashed. What's up? Bro. You pulled up, right? So pull up! Right! Pull all the way up! F you! What's up? You tripping because already he black. Y'all already know how this What's shit What's up? Hey, get on my waist! F you! What? I know this is your fing waist! LaForge was pissed and continued to go off on the police yeah. and everyone around him. Get the fing away in the light! Damn! this f bro! Pulling up on me like that. What's up? What you wanna do? But, bro, why you fussing at her telling her to, like, Get in the way of the light, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, type shit, like, calm your happy ass, like, your, your, your nerves, bro. Like, nigga do not have to get in the front of the way of the light, you know what I'm saying? Just to be like, just so the camera can see nines out of ten, like. And it be females that be white, like, I ain't gonna cap no racist shit, but y'all be the main motherfuckers get me. Crap, bro. Who the f*** calls the police? What are you talking about? So Who calls the police? But things she only really got worse because a few police. minutes later, he reaches into the car and grabs his gun. Fuck you, bro. Fuck you, bro. Fuck you. Fuck y'all see your hands. Yo, he you. Fuck you. Fuck you. See my hand. Fuck you. Yo, he grabbed you looking at me. Ain't you? Fuck you. That's good enough. Fuck you. Uh, what did you say? This, this, this Instagram, bro. Instagram for like. Let me see the bag, yo. Nigga said, let me see let the me bag. Nah, no, don't. He then lets everyone on the live know that he's about to turn things up a notch. What? And he starts turn things up. Going crazy. Really finna yeah. turn up on bro. Y'all finna see live, bro. Straight up, y'all finna see, see this nigga, live, bro. bro. I'll take one for the team, yo. I swear to God. This nigga I swear to God. What's up? Team. What's up? Come here. Come here. Come here, Rachel. Come here. Rachel, come here. Get your hands off her. Get your hands off her. And after they pulled the girl away, he pulled out his strap and pops the cops once before they start firing Damn. back. Damn. Rachel, come here. Oh. Thankfully, no one was injured in the situation. And the cops eventually got. This nigga. Bro, you telling me that this nigga. Bro, I'm telling you, that shit. You could tell. You, you cannot see in the. Bro, you cannot sit in the comments and tell me that that's not internet motivated. He got motivated by the internet, bro. Like, they're not like they were saying to do this shit, but obviously he was motivated by 
the internet, bro. Shit crazy. Had everything under control. That and LaForest Gray crazy, ended up bro. getting charged with attempted murder of smart. a law enforcement officer, kidnapping, burglary, resisting an officer, and aggravated assault of a law enforcement officer. But that isn't the only time someone got into it with cops on live. Whoa. Because one dude from California was on live while being chased by cops. And no one knows what he did, but it must have been pretty serious this since they also had the helicopter out looking for the dude. Bird out. BSB, I ain't going to jail. Oh, this nigga yeah, homie. They gonna have to kick me in the Bro, this nigga got the fucking yeah. helicopter chasing him, bro. I mean, the fucking helicopter is chasing this nigga. Is that not enough? This nigga said he need more than just the helicopter chasing him. Nigga said we need more. <laughs> we need more type shit. Like, I know I'm dying today. Mama, I love you. My kids, I love you. Oh. The dude can be seen pointing That's a strap a, to the camera before blown. shots start going off in the background. And it sounds like the police are hitting at him. One time on me. Bro. He then hits back at them a few times before letting everyone on the live know that they might have just got him. They busting at me, blood. They about to oh, the about to switch blood. They about to they about to it's over with. They're on me. They got me. But sometimes, things can randomly happen on live, even if you're not doing anything wrong. Because on February 15th, 2017, oh, a 20-year-old pregnant woman was driving yeah. around the west side of Chicago. A boyfriend was in the passenger seat, while the nephew was in the back seat. The woman was on Facebook Live listening to music while driving around the city when suddenly firing erupts. The woman can be heard yelling, while at least 12 shots can be heard off camera. The woman eventually gets out of the car and runs to get help from a nearby house. She can be heard telling witnesses crazy, to call 911 I believe that. I don't know if the child died or not, but I don't believe the child And died. runs to get help crazy. from a nearby house. She can be heard telling witnesses to call 911 Thankfully, the woman survived, but unfortunately, her boyfriend and the nephew passed away. The man was identified as Lazaric Collins and was believed to be the target of the shooting. The woman told police that another car blocked her way as she was driving down an alley, and that's when a dude got out of the car and started firing. So, it sounds like an attack that was linked to gang violence. Yeah, okay. and you gotta be careful when going yeah, live. Bro, it's hard not to say that's gang activity type shit, bro. It's because you never know who's watching, bro. especially when you're famous. Bro, because in November 2020, Alabama rapper Honeycomb Brazy went to buy a Kobe Bryant jersey from someone in Montgomery, Alabama. And Brazy was chilling in the parked car outside a barbershop when some of his partners showing off the jersey to everyone on his live. But suddenly, things went left and shots started going off. We need a big man. Whoever the big man, stop it for real and the post for real, come yeah, get it, man. Yeah, you got me yeah. shit yeah. like Kobe. You can't you got it. for real, come you get it. Come get it for real, come get it. Uh, pop and make it. <laughs> Dead way. The screen goes black while more rounds are fired in the background. Thankfully, everyone made it out of the situation safe. Brazy later released the surveillance footage from outside the barbershop to show another angle of what went down. A gray SUV can be seen driving by them before Brazy's friends start ducking down behind the car. And a few days after the incident, Brazy went back on live to explain what happened. None of y'all get hit. Are they not the back one that? That's that what you crazy. That's your crazy. See, you can't really be like on live or like, you know, just really like in a hood promoting nobody or supporting a black nigga. Once you really get a ticket, bro, you got to protect your ticket at all calls. Like, I don't know about niggas, bro, but me, I'm protecting my fucking ticket. Fuck what you think. Fuck how you feel, nigga. You see what I'm saying? That's the ticket that God and blessed me with so I can get me and my family out the situation. Why the fuck would I abuse my ticket type like, shit? That shit weird. Yo, that ball, they out there with the sticks. <laughs> Went out there swinging that stick with dude and them swinging that bitch. I'm telling you, like, the shooters hit the car pretty bad, yeah, and you would have thought Brazy would have been more cautious before going live after this. But a few months later, he was back in the hood chilling with some of his people. Until out of nowhere, you see this in the background. Yo, so, man, y'all already know y'all. Y'all know how money bad y'all need that man. Y'all know what's going on, man. I swear to God. But Honeycomb Brazy isn't the only. Right, stop, bro. I would never go on live or record around this nigga or just be around him recording this nigga in no types of ways. Obviously, every time, every nigga that record this nigga, bro, get hit, blicked. You know what I'm saying? They getting blicked or some shit. Something bad happening to him, so I don't know if you want to keep fucking recording. For the me. rapper from Alabama who had some crazy go down on live because another dude from oh, Alabama named Huncho De Niro was on I'm live arguing this, with some of his ops one day like, since I, they I, fell I, out I'm with each other. I'm put it on the video. Right? Even going live, the top of the cars, man. Shit was crazy. You mad? I said you ain't gang. 
You ain't gang. You ain't hanging around me and standing there, Ray Ray. The king just Ray Ray. Ray. I don't know. I don't promote violence, but he was swinging his stick. Plans. I'm gonna dump they out. Dump they Until out. eventually, Caesar's ops ride by. Though he drops the phone, and they get into a quick standoff. Facebook, I ain't beef with no. On Facebook, I ain't beef with yeah, no. I ain't beef with the north side because it's no more. I ain't beef with love because it's no more. I ain't beef. Well, you know what I'm saying? 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 He then tells them to drive by again, since he was ready for whatever. It seems like the dudes he was like, beefing with must have been watching his live, because his literally, like three seconds later, they hit the block again. More shots can be heard before he runs into the house no and ends the live. Right. Spin back through. I ain't playing with none of y'all. No this shit really be crazy. Like, and this shit really happens. I'm gonna shoot. Man, this shit be crazy. Man, this shit really happens. 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 This next man wasn't so lucky. They ended up getting busted seconds after bragging about a shooting he had just committed on live. Because what? the dude had just popped someone and went on live seconds after the shooting to let everyone know about it while riding in his car with someone. The dude was out. What type of police shit niggas on nowadays? You gonna pop a nigga, folks. For, hold on, brother. You gonna pop, bro. Brother, you gonna pop a nigga, brother? Then go on live and commit to the shit? And get caught? You OD. Obviously feeling himself after the shooting, ass. since he let everyone know how many times he hit his target. You hit him? Yeah, I hit the four times. Oh God! Really? Oh God! I hit. I ain't got time to be talking, bro. He then went on to let everyone know that the shooting was going to make the news later that night, since he put the dude in the hospital. I don't know I'm gonna shoot this. Oh God! I hit my four times. Keep running, folks. That shit crazy. I'm already pissed off, bro. When a police pop. God, make the news, make the make the guy hood, make the news tonight. Wanna play. Put his in the hospital. They quick. And seconds later, after all the bragging on live, police pulled up on the dude, and this happened. Uh, I don't know. Man, that bitch around. I'm out on foot. You gonna turn around. Ain't turn around, nigga. Yeah. Badass, not get out my face. I'm on my own. Get out! 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 Get Saying like committing to this shit, but it wasn't. Hey, you know I ain't this. What I do? Commit to murder. Don't shoot me. I ain't got search. And it seems like they must have been watching his live without him knowing. And that's how they quickly found oh out God, where he was. Best. And it ain't always the dudes who get into shootings on live. Because one day, a lady was on live going off on her baby daddy since she found out he had her son in the car with another lady. Oh. Got my son, and they talking about he talking about he ain't doing So you about to slide on this nigga because he got your... He fucking with another female? Bro, this nigga got your son with him. What the fuck? But I just seen my my home girl in the car with him. Your uh -uh. Home girl is and you got my stop for the kid, bro. So she pulled up to where he was and started going off on the dude. Why you trying to be though? Why you trying to be? Oh, this is a bad this, this is a bad place to be in. This is a bad fucking spot to be in for them. This is a horrible Seconds later, she fires around at her baby daddy and instantly removes her son from the car before getting back into her car and fleeing the scene. And thankfully, no one was harmed in this situation. But sometimes, capturing a tragic event can leave a record for the whole world to see. Because a man named Trail Smith always went on Facebook Live to joke and make people laugh. But not everyone took the stuff he said as a joke. Because he was in a heated argument with one of his viewers on the live. I moved that y'all, y'all better than Ipsy. Y'all ain't better than Ipsy, y'all product of 60 shots. I don't Right around with a hundred shots, bro. Minutes later, someone pulled up to Trail's house and approached whoever it was. And hey, we got action. We got action. <laughs> Unfortunately, Trail ended up losing his. We got action. <laughs>
Damn. Unfortunately, Trail ended up losing his life. And a few days later, Trail's mother spoke with the news and revealed the reason that the shooters did this to him. My son put up a video of her son, get, uh, the boy getting knocked out. A lot of people didn't like Real. So what? People cannot yeah, kill bro. people for talking. Yeah, they got on live and they were coming over Damn, here. Damn, bro. Sometime in this world, you gotta know who to talk to and who not to fucking talk to. Slap me. Some people ain't having it. Him. Now let's move on to Chicago rapper Spider D. Spider D is a rapper from the Wild Hunters who reps the BDs. But what really made Spider go viral was the situation he oh, had while on IG Live. Because back in May 2020, he was outside talking about some new music he planned to drop. But out of nowhere, he changed the topic and started talking about his ops. Seconds later, you could hear a car pull up and someone hit Adam with a button. Don't BD. They know, hey, you know what they say about them <laughs> with the hoodie on in the summertime on BD. He ain't out here trying to play. BD in. Right up. Right According to internet rumors, oh, Spider D had dissed someone oh. named Jiski from a GD set because there's even videos of the two beefing with each other on Instagram Live. The beef and what beef? Folks what them beef don't know you. Folks what them don't know you. Folks what them don't know you. Thankfully, Spider wasn't you, harmed in the situation. The, and in bro, if, if you could take anything from me, bro, don't, don't, bro, don't entertain internet shit. If you bought your band, look, if, if street operators, look, street operators, street niggas, if you watching me, street niggas. Hey, if you watching me street niggas, the niggas that shoot niggas and, you know, rob and all that. Look, bro, I ain't got nothing against you niggas. Because we need you niggas in this world to do, to do the dumb shit. You see what I'm saying? Because that's how... I, I, the, 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 if everybody was nice, you know, cops wouldn't even be a fucking thing, really. So, you know, I'm not saying do the dumb shit. Don't kill nobody, child. But this, regardless of what the fuck I say or not, that shit not going to change. Them, you see what I'm saying? But all I can say, bro, if you're going to do the dumb shit, bro, don't do the dumb shit dumb. You see what I'm saying? Don't be on a... Like, it's hard not to put it like that because a dumb shit. Nigga doing some dumb shit is some dumb shit. You see what I'm saying? But don't try Early 2022, to Spider shit. spoke on the incident that he happened during the live and said that was weak and that he's used to things like that. Did you go back out there after that no. video? Because that would have scared my life, Spider. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, I went back out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. That was, man, that was the weakest. That was some, you know, out of what I done been through in my life. Yeah, that was real talk. Niggas be through more weed. Like, you know, and like, things like that. I'm a, but I'm going to let y'all know, though, bro. Niggas, they're like, Niggas would be on the block and watch a nigga get popped. Or be off the nigga around the corner get blicked. I'm talking dead. He gone. 30 minutes later, we back out there fucking talking, smoking, you know, chilling. Like, like nothing fucking happened. Because th th that's, just, that's just how it is out here, bro. That's just how it, my mouth done fell. But that's just how it is out here for them. Niggas would be back out there like nothing never happened. Like nobody died. No nigga got shot right next to us. Where we act, we could have been the niggas that got shot. When niggas don't be worried about that in the hood, bro, it's like that shit normal. It's like it became so normal. Like when you grow up in a, in, in, in I'm not gonna say the hood, but like when you grow up in poverty, low poverty income, you know, like low poverty, poverty vibrance and shit. You know, it, it's about time. You Commonly know, like happened in Chicago New Orleans, because Lil Wick you know, was walking in this Troy, Georgia, Atlanta. You know, like shit like they got real like crime and shit. You know, and it's really ego boosted. About time you about sixteen, bro. Are really 18, you're gonna lose somebody close to you, you feel know what I'm saying? Through the gun violence, just because of how crazy this shit is. Good, oh, and discussing you. ops on live, similar to how Spider was. Stop playing, we you check your ass one. Stop playing. But unlike Spider, Wick was the one who started firing because he and whoever he was with saw one of their ops' cars pass.